In today's video, I want to cover the Rogue Fitness HR2 conversion rack. Um, as you know, I've got the Rogue Fitness S Series S2 squat sand. So, as in my last video, I was talking about the single bar holder that attaches to this guy with the conversion kit. And since I've gotten it, I really love it. Like, <clears throat> this is honestly the probably the best setup I've had other than having the TDS rack, which I've made a video on as well. Kind of turned that into a half rack at one point. But, um, you know, like if you're not looking to spend a bundle on the, uh, like a full rack solution or, or whatever, and you have like, let's say you got a use squat stand like I did, the HR2 conversion rack works out really well for that purpose. About this rack is that it's got 11 gauge steel and the <clears throat> uprights are actually three by three uh, uprights. And as you can see back there, they're thicker than the two by threes in the front um, <clears throat> that, that the squat stand comes with standard. But the three by three are super beefy, they're super tough. And uh, you actually have these 17 inch cross numbers right here. And I'll get close up for you guys so you can see that. Um, that just gives it a little bit more stability, uh, which is nice. And you have these triangle plates with these heavy duty, really, really heavy duty bolts, uh, washers, spring washers, and nuts, you know, to get everything tightened in there. Um, but like I said, I mean, overall, I absolutely love this. Um, it totally reduced my footprint. You know, I got rid of the Ethos rolling plate tree a long time ago, a couple years ago. Um, I have no need for another uh, storage solution. I mean, I do have some hooks on the wall which are drilled in and studs. I did a video uh, called Home Depot Barbell Hooks, something like that. Um, but this time when I moved into the new house, I didn't want to destroy the garage with all of my, you know, tinkering and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I got a painted garage. Let's just go into a stud just for a couple and that's it. I even debated, you know, putting some plywood up, painting that. Uh, just decided against that too because plywood was just so expensive for so long. Um, but, yeah, if you have a squat stand and you're looking to expand the storage capability of this thing, totally worth doing. Um, really, really love how it works for me now. Okay, so like I said, if you're on the fence, if you have the squat stand as serious, I think this is a total buy. You should definitely get it. Um, you know, budget permitting, of course, you know, everyone's budget's gonna be different, but if you're looking to reduce your footprint, if you want that half rack um, functionality, you can't go wrong with it. Get rid of your storage trees, your you know plates everywhere. Like, you know, one thing though too, just to consider is that I actually had some other short posts that I put up on the top there. The original squat stand is the whole my ten pound bumper plates, and then my fives, uh, two and a halfs, and I have some tens that are just traditional Olympic plates. They're just on the ground. Um, apparently, my wife told me that CrossFit gyms, they usually just throw the little weights on the ground anyways because they're easy to pick up, but um, not a huge thing. Like I'm not, you know, that's not a deal breaker for me to, oh man, I gotta have every single plate on there. I mean, yeah, does it look awesome? Is it cool and convenient? For sure, but you know, this works totally fine for me. Worst case scenario, I could always put those, I could drill them into the wall again, but like I said, I'm trying to not drill as much and keep things off the wall. If you guys found this video of value, if you learned something new, uh, best thing you can do to help me grow the channel is click the like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends, spread the word. You know, I'm trying to just record these videos as I can, as I come across new equipment and try them out. And I just love sharing that with everybody. So if you have any questions or concerns, just let me know in the comments section below. I'll talk to you guys next time.